Hey, it's November 7th. You know what's cool about this week's episode? I bet nearly every topic I have to tell you about will be brand new to your brain. Unless you're a huge dork and check all the best tech sites on a daily basis, which in fact, if you are, you're definitely in the right place. Your kind is welcome here. This is the Redheaded Geek Show. Do you enjoy cooking? I sure do. I love it. I'm always in the kitchen making something new. It was only a matter of time until the internet of things got into our ovens. This microwave and convection oven called MADE stands for Make All Incredible Dishes. <laughs> Psh, lame. Psych, it's not lame. Currently on Kickstarter, MADE has a list of recipes itself and then you can also upload your very own recipes to the MADE database. The part I like about this is it gives you verbal instructions during the cooking process. Okay, just last night I was making a casserole. It was so good. It had peas and carrots and chicken and then I changed the recipe up and put potato chips at the bottom but also on the during my cooking I had to keep checking my tablet over and over and over to make sure I was doing everything right. Plus half the time my hands were covered in food. How nice would it be if the oven would just tell me the instructions? Plus, this oven has automatic settings and will set the temperature for the specific dish you are making. Ever heard of anything like this? I am pretty sure, and I know everything, that this is the first of its kind. Amazon is at it again, trying to win you over and wanting to put more devices in your home. We know Amazon's Fire TV, and of course it's Kindles and tablets. Those are, those are okay. But then there's the Amazon Fire Phone that flops so bad, there's apparently $83 million in these things just sitting in a factory somewhere. So Amazon decided to compete with the likes of Siri by developing a Bluetooth speaker that doubles as a virtual personal assistant. Called Echo, you can activate the speaker by calling it whatever you program it to be. So my Echo, I would call Pickles. And I would say, Pickles, play Taylor Swift's new album. <laughs> I would never say that. Or I could ask Pickles how far away the moon is from the earth. I could make a shopping list using Echo or the main reason Amazon is doing this. I could purchase things off amazon.com using Echo. So you see, many things. But I wonder about Echo, like, how good are these speakers? Why would I want to buy something using a speaker I talk to? I want to buy things after looking at them on the internet. Also, are these Echoes actually just stuffed with old Amazon Fire phones that they couldn't sell? Would you guys want this? It's cute to have a speaker to talk to and all. But isn't this just a phone inside of a speaker that's always on speaker? Dude, this is good stuff. This technology is like a true hologram. A Japanese company called Ariel Burton has created a display that makes moving 3D images in midair using laser plasma technology. The images are created from an infrared pulse laser directed onto a 3D scanner. Okay, I'm going to sound intelligent, but I read this on geek.com, so don't be fooled. But I could totally say this on Q because I'm smart. The apparatus, oh, big word, reflects the pulses up into the air while focusing them on predefined points. By ionizing molecules in very localized areas, the device is essentially producing pockets of plasma that give off energy as photons. What? This is so cool. It's not like you're seeing super detailed images, but it's still a huge leap in this technology. It's surely the first time I've seen anything like this. The company hopes to use this in emergency situations to help people find evacuation routes and emergency supplies using holographic arrows. Also new this week is this flying defibrillator. Defibrillator. Def defib okay. Having a heart attack? See someone having a heart attack? Well, you shouldn't have eaten that cheeseburger. Also, you can call this drone and use its built-in defibrillator. Man, that's hard. It has instructions, a camera, a microphone, and a speaker to call a paramedic. You can read more about this on partspeople.com, but I remember last week, I got all excited about Dexmo, the exo glove you wear to feel the virtual realm. 
That was so last week because Nimble VR worked on the same idea but without a glove now. A camera, similar to the Xbox Kinect, attaches to the Oculus and creates depth perception, tracking your hand and finger movements on the skeletal level. I also wrote about something called Butterfly Network, a company working on a device that would basically be like a handheld MRI and ultrasound machine. Seriously, sitting in an MRI machine is lengthy, boring, loud, and I get lonely. And I'm tired of talking. I need to go home and cook with my lame, stupid, non-talking oven. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, tell me by liking it. And subscribe to Parts People to stay in touch with me each week. <laughs>